hey, 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 my name is Paul Schlings and I've been listening to that music for five minutes, I think, already. Uh, I was uploading last episode of Sakura Memo 2. Uh, let's get to another game that I kinda promised to record <coughs> after its release. I plan to buy it, but, well, I was given it. I bought the DLC for Anywho, welcome to Chester Redux, the Spy of America and the Long Vacation. Let's begin. Two years ago. <gasps> Wait, please! Also, note, I'm still sick, so uh, I might sound weird. Very weird. <coughs> what is it? Sir, I know him already. I just want to prove myself. Are you sure? If they're been in the field before on your own, I should be able to handle anything that comes my way. Argus has killed many an agent. I've lost too many that way. <gasps> I sorry, you just know that I can deal with any mission that you can give me. And I want you to be proud of me too. I'm already proud of you for getting this far. You've been a great asset to this organization. However, it would be negligent of me to remind you that I would be just as proud of you for not going any further. The dangers you would face are impossible to describe. This, this is what I want! Are you very certain? Yeah, yeah I am. Hmm, very well then. This will be your first solo mission. Read this file and then we'll see whether you've made the right choice. The details from the newly acquired file are read with initial eagerness. This slowly turns to fear as more details become clear. Is this? Yes, it is. But I, I, I don't know whether. So it was all false bravado then. It's nothing to be ashamed of. But please don't waste a minute of my time with something like this again. No. No. What do you mean, no? No, I can't do this! Oh, really? You certainly change your mind quickly, but if you do accept this, you have to see it through to the end. No matter how long it takes, or where it leads. The only way it will end well is if you take her and make it happen yourself. At some point, you may even need outside help to make it happen. I will do this mission. But I don't see why I should be needing help. All they would do is get in my way. Huh. Very well then. In theory, your mission is very simple. Practically, it may not be for. As you read, there are rumors of some new organization conducting experiments on people. We know nothing about this organization, nor its goals. There are only rumors. Other agents have confirmed, however, that the girl in your document is a test subject. Possibly the first. Your task is to gather as much information as possible about her and what's happened. Huh. And further action will then depend on the results of this operation, but will no doubt require you to go back. What about the rumors? They just mentioned some sort of advanced nanotechnology for what purpose, if any, is currently unknown. Could this be the work of the Phoenix Custodians? Doubtful, but be on your guard nonetheless. Thank you. Thank you. I won't let you down. You can thank me by not coming home in a tin can. And by seeing it through to the end, no matter what. Now be better to get ready. You leave tomorrow morning. Catherine will have all your documents and other items ready, so see her before you leave. I will. Thank you once again. Just be careful, okay? Now, go! I'll make sure you'll be proud of me. That I look forward to. One and a half years later. So... Like six months ago now, right? The door of an office is kicked open by a young girl. woman wielding a frying pan. Okay, that sounds familiar. You know, I feel like I've experienced that before. Knock knock! Here's Grendel. Grendel Jinx enters the large office space, searching for someone in particular. You. Just so let you know that I'm really, really worried about you, but he's trying to cancel of dancing. And, um, wait a minute. 
I just thought, I'm not the head of the organization, so I suppose I shouldn't be thanking you instead. So instead of killing you, I'll just half kill you. Do you? How the hell do you half kill someone? I, uh, no, I don't want to know. Uh, you are shaking a bit. You know what, I... I get a little bit of a gist of an idea. How can you half kill a man? As in male. On the other hand, if you do that, I think you would kill him completely. So like, actual death is like half killing him, but doing what I thought is actually killing him. Eh, at least from my point of view that would be like that. Anyway, you are shaking a bit. We, well, whilst she may be a bit on the vertically challenged size, she's still extremely dangerous, especially when wielding one of her signature weapons. A self-expanding frying pan? What? Fortunately, you are currently hiding behind a computer desk, hidden from her view. Well, I wouldn't say those computer desks in a great, are in a great state, so... Uh, couldn't you let me, yeah, like, go instead? No chance, I'm not going to have a deal to deal with extra paperwork. So if I'm going to suffer that, you will too. How about I help you with the paperwork then? And you know. And the fact that you just bought off someone who doesn't exactly work in your favor either. Oh, and your precious Phoenix Mysterious won't be able to help you out of your self inflicted mess. They're currently experiencing a slight problem at the moment. <laughs> I've never seen Grendel so efficient. Grendel Jinx searches around for you, looking under and around every nook and cranny. Whilst you try and keep out of sight, she does eventually spot you and comes rushing towards you, trembling person. With Grendel blocking your exit, there is only one cross faction you can take now, and that's fight her. Uh huh. Cool. With what? With what am I supposed to fight her? Yeah, it's time to fight Grendel. This is the perfect opportunity to bring Grendel justice as funny and be menace of the Council of the Unseen once for all. You might even get a nice bonus and increase your fame. Oh. She won't make it she won't make it easy for you though, so be prepared for anything. However, once she has been defeated, you should have no trouble getting her back to base her for interrogation. Oh. Dang, this music is so good! Alright, I, I need to actually keep uh, my headphones not fully on my ears, because I would get immersed into that music too much, definitely. Uh, do you need instruction for this part of the game? Yes? No need! Should be able to wing it. I mean, I could be trying to wing it, but... That, like, didn't happen before, so let's go with the first option. Explain. I'm... Was there a tutorial in the main menu? I didn't even look. Okay, the premise is simple. Grendel and yourself take it in turns to attack and defend. If your attack is successful, Grendel's health decreases. Once it reaches zero, then it's game over for Grendel and the Council of the Unseen. Oh. If your health reaches zero fall, then it's game over for you. Each double Grendel will be dead kind to you. Grendel's health is 10. <clears throat> What's my health for? Hello. It's been a while since we've come face to face like this. <coughs> yeah, and I'm going to wipe the floor with you. That will be the day. Now fight. Ready? Fight! So good! You are surprised to see Grendel running towards you. I don't know what I was supposed to say or what. Grendel is attacking. Protect your face, protect your me, protect your. I think legs. Prepare to jump just in case Grendel goes for legs. Is that the best you can do, Grendel? You must be getting old. I saw that coming a mile off. Next time you won't be so lucky! Time to attack Grendel. Punch her in the face, hit her mid with three. Uh, let's try stripping. What the was that? Grendel is attacking. Uh, Midriff this time! You prepared for your midriff from the oncoming attack. 
Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I got more than fame? Uh, where that came from? Where did I get hit? My health is away. Oh, shit. I'm doing a grendel. Uh, midriff. God damn it! Uh, midriff again. Shit, that was a bad idea. Health is now 7. Alright. Super attack! I'm in an office. We've come to equipment. What better way to end this fight than to email chaining headlay for help? Choosing up there that's already on you push a whole lot of rubble from chair and start printing email. Or at least to pretend you are. Looking slightly at Grendel every so often, you hope that she will be cruise enough to come over to see what you're doing. What? I thought we were having a fight here, what the hell are you doing? I'm writing email to Chinese headlay asking for help. Why? Aren't you mad enough to make me on solo? I mean, take me on solo? I don't need all the help I can get. After all, a multi billionaire is always eager to help the little guy. Little guy? But I would like some help in composing the mail, if you would be mind, just to make sure it reads correctly. <sighs> Alright, then I'll take a look at it for you. Grendel walks over to the desk. Hey, you can not start an email yet, and. <laughs> My health is now full! Oh, that hurts! It's supposed to Grendel. Grendel is attacking. Oh, it's not going well. I need a healthy health boost. Grendel takes out the card stick and quickly hits it, increasing her health slightly. My health is now 9! What? Protect your legs. It's good for jump, case. What? I can't run there. Oh, okay, that's ridiculous. Fuck it. Oh, that hurts! It's supposed to Grendel. My health is now 7. Okay, she's attacking again. Uh, shit! Uh, God damn it! Protect my face this time! Yes! Alright! Midriff! God damn it, face! Ah, uh, fuck! How do I win this? You lose! What do you mean I lose? You slump face down on the floor, with not enough energy to even try to lift your spa. The fight was a little harder than you had expected, with a probably grim ending. Wonderful! Absolutely wonderful! That me too! <laughs> Whatever. You are panicking and have many cuts and bruises. After trying to kneel, the best you can do is turn around and lay on your back. You know what? I don't like that system! You just got lucky! Ha! <laughs> so see the servers there! But the more protection is, what do we do with you now? Nothing. And no chance. Hmm. I've got it! How about you work for me? What? Yeah, with your skills you'll be very useful. Yes, a tea boy! <laughs> to be honest, that is a bit below me. Are you frozen then? Uh, agree to join the council of the unseen or reject. Uh, I mean... I did not necessarily like her, so refuse. Well, since it's an interesting proposition, I'm going to join the council. I can say I wasn't expecting you to say that, but I'm disappointed nonetheless. Huh. Huh. Are you sure you, you do know what it means if you refuse, don't you? I changed my mind. I'm sure, thanks. Yeah, well, let's go with it. I'm sure, thanks. Oh, well. What was that sound? Oh, a frying pan hit me again. Right! I will miss you! Game over! You are very, very dead! Cool! <laughs> I don't get it! <sighs> that fight is so ridiculous for. Uh... No, no need! I should be able to wing it! Sure. Alright, so first attack of hers. Was... Let's try this. She was attacking my legs first. What? Come on! Seven? Mm, Trip, yes, alright. How is your health? What? Uh, Alright, legs again. Fuck. Uh, face midriff. Yes. Four. 
Are you kidding me? How about stop cheating? Uh, protect my legs. God damn it. Super attack. Free. All right. All right. She will attack next. Yes. All right. I will attack. Face. Shit. Midriff. Yes. All right. All right. Midriff. Yes. Yes. Champion. I don't know for. Am I supposed to be actually happy like I was about beating a girl here? Maybe I shouldn't. Anyway, it's all over longer. No, come with me and now I'll try to help you get through your interrogation and trial as much as I can. Where they saw force, bleeding from various wounds and panting heavily. No, it can be! I won't let it! You've got no choice, Grand Grendel. Let me help you. Grendel. Grendel! What am I going to do? Check Grendel's pulse. Do nothing. Prod Grendel with your foot. Mm. You know... I will check her pulse, but I don't trust her, so... I will prod her with my foot. We walk over to Grendel and gently prod her with your foot. Uh. <sighs> For a moment there. You finish checking Grendel and clean up her wounds as best you can. You smile weakly when she gives you a little groan. I hope you've got the fortitude to be able to survive what's in store for you. I'll help where I can for the ghost. <laughs> I hope you didn't hear what I said. Your next course of action is to get out of the link with your prize in one piece. You look out of the room and nods. It looks like no one, if anyone is around, heard your little fight, so the ghost is clear. Turning around, you are surprised to see Grendel standing in front of you, nibbling on a carrot. Oh no. You've... You've... You've got to be kidding me! You weren't having this, were you? I thought you had passed out or... No, I'm not that easy to feed. Blasties and counters enhanced cards come in very handy when in a tight spot. Can I have one? And! I did hear what you said. Well, I didn't. Hi! Thank you! But your services won't be required! I'm still going to have to bring you in, so whether you like it or not. Oh, I don't think so. This card and myself have different ideas! Back using those frying pans, huh? Yeah, you forgot to check my pockets again. What's the matter? How do you... How big of a pocket do you have to freaking have the... The frying pan there? What's the matter? I'm afraid what you could come across. <laughs> Grendel starts walking towards you. With her blocking the door and only exit, you can only get back into the office and then quite literally are backed into a corner. <coughs> Grendel throws a frying pan at you. Fortunately, she's still suffering from the after effects of the fight and can't aim straight. The frying pan goes frying off down the office instead of in your direction. Can't you use it as well? That was very lucky. I need to get out of here. How am I going to do it? Your shoelaces seem to be untied. Look! A UFO! Yes, I think UFO. I mean, even the fact that she's, uh, I think, wearing a one piece here. I doubt she's, hang she's wearing shoes that have laces. So let's go UFO. That's more probable to be there. You point to a nearby window. Info! Info just went past! <gasps> what? Really? Grandel reaches over the window and presses her face against it. Where is it? What did it look like? How come you. Grandel turns around to see you running out of the door. <sighs> Fell for it. Again! <sighs> Grandel starts running after you. The Lord of Destruction escapes. Oh, damn. I'm Lord of Destruction. Holy shit, that's a good nickname. <laughs> Your disappearance is not particularly welcomed by Grendel. Hey, come back! I never said you could leave! I'm not hanging out here, Grendel. 
Wow, what a mess! You run down many flights of broken stairs, eh, videos of your recent handiwork. Aiming for the first floor and the way out, close behind the and annoyed Grendel. Will you stand still and let me hit you? You must be joking! You are not making this easy for me! That's the point! <laughs> <laughs> Grendel speeds up when she finds herself in a more fortuitous position. She throws a frying pan in the direction. Fortunately, you duck just in time! Of course I do. Unfortunately for the frying pan instantly disintegrates after hitting the wall and so can be reused. I would say that's pretty fortunate. One of the numerous safety mechanisms added by Grendel after one per car incident several months ago. Oh, so the fact that you can't use it, you add it. <coughs> Wait, so they basically materialize in her. Pockets? Hands? Oh, God. Whatever. Well, I did say Frank Palance can be dangerous in the wrong hands. <laughs> you miss your aim is as bad as ever, I see. Well, I won't miss next time. Randall takes another cube from out of her pocket and activates it. There's a cube. Okay, which materializes the freaking pun. Got it. The chase continues until both you and Grendel reach the first floor, bursting through the employee only door. You run towards the main doors at the front of the building. Katrin! Lock the front doors! Ooh. Hello there! Huh? But still. She's not hotter than. The girls from the previous day. Speaking of which, actually, uh, you, whoever has not seen, actually, the previous games also got a little boost when it comes to characters' designs, and you can see it now. Uh, even anyway, it's him. Catherine turns around to see you barrel past her. Oh no, you don't! Catherine presses a button under what remains of the desk in front of her, and the front doors knock sh shut. Uh, somehow I feel that they are made of, made of glass, so... You know... Maybe you can burst through. You manage to stop just before hitting the locked front doors. Even though you know it's locked, you give one of the doors a few tucks and away. <laughs> Afterwards, you turn around to see Randall menacing walk menacingly walking towards you, whilst jogging her front pan. Got you now, you weak wearing nobody. Hey, this is my own hair. Yeah, that's what they all say. How dare you? But it's true. Uh, of course it is. <laughs> well, this is it, my dear little weak wearing nemesis. Any last words? It would better if you surrender. The Phoenix Custodians will be alone shortly to deliver you all. Huh, I don't think so. I sent them a rather nasty virus out there, didn't I, Catherine? Well, you certainly sent them something. There we go then, your miserable lot will be too busy sorting that rest out to deal with the likes of you. So, how do you want it then? A pound to the knee or one to the face? Actually, one to the face? Neither. You rummage around your backpack and take out a plastic bag of which you give a couple of squeezes. What? And use them all already? Oh no, always. I always like to keep one of my improvised explosive dunks there, just in case. I would be quackers not to. Really? It's the best pun you could come up with. It's terrible, man. Yeah, it is. Huh. You better use the nuisance. It's the end of the line for you. Grendel starts running towards you, thinking quickly you throw the rubber duck just in front of Grendel's feet. I don't think so. Huh? Catherine takes score behind the reception desk while Grendel steps on the dog. Her face turns white. Oh no! Flaster Grendel slips and slides, trying to stabilize herself by clapping her arms around, to no avail. Grendel falls flat on her face, once the frying pan that was once in her hand hurtles towards the front entrance, and smashes through the glass before the pan is degraded into little pieces. I knew the door was out, of, was out of the glass. I bet if you went full speed, you would freaking break through the glass. Or 
you could pick up anything from the ground. I mean, there's plenty of things that you smashed. I bet there would be even part of the brick from the wall. You could just throw it and you would make it through. Ah. <laughs> oh, nice! Work better than expected! <laughs> you spot Katrin peering over top of the desk, tightly gripping it. Don't worry, just stand three shoe time, rubber duck. I did use all the explosives you want trying to destroy this place. <laughs> uh, Tricked by a duck! Don't feel bad, just treat it as water of a do. Don't you dare continue with that sentence! <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, can't snarl the drink which you lovely release all day, good to go. Bye bye! You squeeze through the now broken door frame. Just as you're about to leave, you turn back and point to where the glass used to be. You probably know this already, but it might be a good idea to get this window fixed. I wouldn't want anything untoward to happen to you two before we can bring you in. Brenda lifts her face off the floor. I really, really hate you! And I love you too! <laughs> no, I don't. You run off laughing to yourself and their stupidity. Brenda picks herself up on the floor, and after staggering around a bit, she stops and dusts herself down. Catherine, you know what to do? Right! Catherine presses another button on her desk, and Grandma strains to hear an inevitable sound. There we go! Been looking forward to hearing that scream for a long time! What scream? Ha! Huh, try and get out of that hole, you requiring empty! Grandma quick inspects the massive gap where glass used to be, and turns back to Catherine. I thought we bought anti framing point glass! Yeah, we are going to, but then you said to seek your ore in a castle the order. I believe you said, I can never use a chain when a friend comes with big glass, or some such twaddle. Which leads to this current situation. Ah, I suppose we had get, better get the usual people to fa in to fix this then. Unfortunately, we can't. Why not? They went out of business after you blew up their manufacturing factory. Mitigating factor, that was an accident. Well, get someone else in then. No one else will come here. I think they heard what you did. The last plumber we had. Ah, fun times. Well, in that case, the window will have to wait until sometime later then. We'll just take it up for now. Okay. Poor Catherine, I guess. Meanwhile. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> you don't face down the river of water a long way below city level. Dang, that's Brendel. I'm all wet now. It really stinks here. Ah, great. Sewers. Where the hell am I? What was that? Eh, mommy! No, sorry, what was that? All right, I want access to the soundtrack, by the way.
All right. So <clears throat> let's end the episode here. We'll continue this tomorrow. I'm curious where this is going exactly. That's what exactly happened in the sewers. And while well, I did the MC scream like a little girl when he was falling down. Anywho, hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Ugh, I so don't feel like going to work. <laughs> ah, whatever. Bye bye. Good night. <laughs>